Hi guys, this is Avinas and you are welcome to another video of Easy Tutorials YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to create a website where you can upload an image and write the text on the image just like social media post or social media stories. You can see on this web page, if I click on this upload icon, we can select any image. Let me select this one and click on open. So you can see this image on the website. Let's click on this icon again and let me choose the another image and click here. You can see the second image on this website. So this is how you can upload an image on your website. And here you can see a text called add caption. Here we can add any message. So let's add. You can see whatever text I'm writing in this text box that is displaying over this image. So this is how you can upload image and text just like the social media post or social media stories. So we will create this website using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. So let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have added one index.html file, one style.css file and one another folder called images. And here I have this upload icon and two other images that I will be uploading on this website. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because I have added style.css. It is the file name of the CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. Next we have to add the CSS for this one. So just add this class name here in the CSS file. And here we will add the background. Then color. It will be the text color. Let's add the background size. Background size will be cover and background position it will be center next we will add width for this container so let me add the max width it will be 450 pixel and height it will be 100 vh margin will be auto so that it will be horizontally center and let me add position relative after adding this let's come back to the folder and uh, open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this dark color in the center. The width is 450 pixel and the height is 100 VH. It means 100 viewport height. Let me close this browser and I will open this web page with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. Now you can see the same web page. Let me change the screen size. So this is how it will display on a smaller screen. So let me come back to the HTML file. Here we have to add one text area where we can type the text. So let's add one text area. Write the ID text box. Placeholder it will be add caption. After adding this, let's open the web page and you can see this input box at top left corner so we have to change its position and we have to remove these borders and background color so let's come back and uh, copy this text area come back to the css file here we will add this id with the hashtag because it is an id so let's add the position absolute left will be zero and bottom zero so it will be at the bottom now the width for this text area will be 100 percent border will be none and outline none then we will add the background background will be transparent and uh, color it will be white so after adding this CSS for the text box, let's refresh the website. You can see this add caption at the bottom. Let me add some padding here. So here we will add padding 10 pixel. So you can see some space here. If I write something here, 
it is displaying inside this input box so we have to display this text anywhere on this website so for that let's come back to the html file here we will add one div with the id prev text which is preview text so whatever text we will write in this text area that will be displayed in this div which is prev text now to display this text in this div here we will add one script so let's add script tag in this script we will add this text box right where text box equal to document dot get element by id and the id is text box because we have to get the text from this input box which is text area now here we will add text box dot on key up equal to text box dot on key press equal to function and in this function we will write the code that will display the text written inside this input box in the preview text so here we will add this preview text let's add document dot get element by id preview text dot inner html equal to this dot value that's it after adding this let's refresh the website if i write something in this text box that is displaying at the top so we have to change its position and we will also change its size let's come back and uh, let's copy this preview text and add it here in this css file here we will add position position will be absolute left 50 percent and uh, bottom it will be 30 percent then we will add transform translate x minus 50 percent then we will add the width width will be 90 percent font size will be 32 pixel text align center and we will also add text shadow after adding this let's come back to the website and you can see this text at this position and the font size has been increased let me remove this text now we have added the feature to display the text on this website next we have to display the image first we will add one upload icon and if i click on this upload icon it should upload one image and that image will be displayed on the web page so let's come back and uh, here after this text area we will add one input box input and input type will be file that's it and uh, here we have to add accept in this accept we have to write which type of file it will accept so let's add image slash star so it will upload any type of image file name it will be image and write the id id will be file and after adding this let's come back to the web page you can see here we can upload one image there's an option choose file let's click here and it will ask you to select the file so if i select anyone nothing will happen here you can see image2.png the name of the selected file that's it image1.png like this but it is not displaying on the web page so first we have to hide this one it should not display here so let's come back and uh, here we will add 
level for file it should be same here id file and for file and in this level let's add upload you can see one text here upload on the right side if i click on this text it is also doing the same thing it is asking to select the file now we can upload the image by clicking on this text which is upload so we can hide this button which is choose file so let's come back and in this input we will add style display none after adding this you can see that choose file is hidden we can only see the upload text and if i click here it is asking to select the image and now we have to replace this text with the icon that is upload icon so let's come back and instead of this text we will add one icon so we will add img tag img file path write the file path images slash upload dot png so we have added one upload image here you can see this upload image next we have to change the position and size for this image so let's come back and here we will add one class name upload icon copy this one and come to the css file here we will add this with the dot upload icon and right position absolute then we will add width width will be 60 pixel then bottom 100 pixel and left 50 percent transform translate x minus 50 percent so that it will be horizontally centered and after that we will add cursor pointer now you can see this icon at this position and if i click on this icon it is asking to select the image and again if i select any image nothing is happening so now we have to display the selected image on this background for that let's come back in this input box we will add one event so let's add on change on change equal to load file event in this input we have added on change equal to load file event and now we have to display the image in this div which is container so with this container we will add one id also so the id is img box where we will display the image so after adding this id and this on change let's come back at the bottom and after this variable we will add another variable so let's duplicate this one and here we will add this img box paste it here where img box equal to document dot get element by id img box now copy this load file and uh, here after this function we will add where load file equal to function event and in this function we have to add img box dot style dot background image we have to add the image in the background here we will add quote url and plus plus quote this and within this plus we have to add the link of the image that is uploaded through the upload icon so to get the link here we will add url 
dot create object URL event dot target dot files that's it url create object url event dot target dot files zero it will give the url of the image file uploaded through the upload icon and it will be displayed in this image box as a background because we have added a style dot background image now let's refresh the website and if I click on this upload icon and select the image, you can see this image in the background. Now click again and select the another image. You can see another image in the background. Now if I write text here, you can see the text written in this input box displaying over this image so finally we have created this web design to upload post or social media stories on the website i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video